Richard and Anne approached me and asked, do we need a architect to help you build this house? And it took me a millisecond to say no. <laughs> <laughs> First thing was the, probably the challenge. It's the largest house I've ever built. It was like a mini high rise. The architect, I must say, did a fabulous job with the architecture. Angelo Panazza, things that he did were, were fantastic. The style, the arches, curves. When you build straight square buildings, it's easier, but when you add an arch or a curve, it creates a whole lot of other issues with regard, not only building, but also the finishes to come behind you to achieve the finish. I built it on paper, first of all, and imagining scenarios of different concepts of what work has to take place and how many people involved just in that section. 18 months was the build time. Should have been about another four or five months, but it was done with the accelerator pressed. We were able to make decisions like immediately. The house is about 1,600 square metres. A lot of that is taken up with the garage because of the footprint. There's six bedrooms, which includes the master. There's three Versace style bathrooms and each room is totally different, all the different paint colours in each room. So each room you walk into has a different feel. The first challenge, of course, was the digging out, making sure all the sheet piling is in place. The screw piers were the, probably the major part, which hold up the house. We did testing at the beginning with the uh, individual screw piers and the different sizes and did calculations on those, uh, working out the structural requirements for those so we had uh, an idea on what these things could um, could handle because that is your main structure. It was a little bit of an old-fashioned build. You have a tile which starts right from the gutter, will go all the way through the centre of the house and right up to the pool area and that's one straight line and all this was done using string lines instead of lasers. Along with the curves and the arches, a lot of these were done by the use of uh, scale rules and compasses because some of the detail was not there on some of the plans. All the columns that were produced were done in the style of uh, the, uh, the old villa to give it the, the impact and the grandeur of an Italian villa. The copper dome was another interesting thing we had to do. That was the first copper dome I've built. Main steel base, steel bearers, and then two lots of of ply put in place. First of all, nine millimetres, and then another nine millimetres on top of that, because it had to be something you could stand on. Then the copper was put on while the roof was actually up in place. Richard being a little romantic, he wanted to have the uh, hearts and arrows in those balustradings, uh, which was um, a little bit harder to do, because you uh, also had to make sure that the balustrading complied with all the council requirements. As Anne has said before, it is a girl's room. When women do walk in there, uh, they do become a little envious on, on, uh, on such a room. The absolute pinnacle of my career, all my guys that I had there used to look forward to coming to work because they knew it was a challenge for them. Probably will be a very long time before a particular project and involvement that I was able to uh, achieve, being working so close with, uh, with my clients, Richard and Anne, to be able to uh, make so many decisions on finishes and and come up with new ideas on whether this will work or not. If we were to build another house, Bill would build it. This is his second home for us. Totally perfect. He's a man who really cares about what he's building and obvious in the finished product.